Hi, I'm Tanya Eby, and um, I'm gonna make some food, which is something I do like all the time. But today I wanna make one of my favorite food groups, and it's um, casserole. Yeah, so I call that a food group because really you can, you put cheese in it, and then you put stuff in it, and it's its own thing. And yeah, so this one is cheesy, it has cauliflower, and chicken, and cheese, and panko, and then you put some cheese on it. So it's gotta be good. It's gotta be good. This is Tanya Makes. Now this recipe does have quite a bit of ingredients. Um, it, we've got chicken stock, milk, butter, flour. These are, um, lasagna noodles that you don't have to boil. It's like magic, and I broke them into one inch pieces. I have rotisserie chicken and cauliflower. I um, cooked the cauliflower for like three minutes. Then panko. And because this will just basic bake, this will make basically a beige casserole. So instead of using the Swiss cheese, I'm gonna add some color. And there's my color, cheddar cheese maybe some paprika. So this is gonna go pretty fast because I pre-made things and I feel like I talk a lot in these videos. Maybe you're tired of that. Um, I'm making a roux. I just sat down here and made a damn roux. You know, making a roux, and that's what I'm doing, is one of those Louisiana things that works with everything. It just makes things better. Making a good roux is essential to Cajun and Creole cooking. Butter and flour. And this isn't a chunky roux, it's a smooth roux. It's smooth, comforting, and it's uh, bubbling, it's starting to turn brown. So this is when I add in the liquids. Got chicken broth and milk. And yes, so this is, it's similar to how you would make macaroni and cheese but there's more liquid because you have the noodles that haven't been uh, cooked yet. So they're gonna suck up some moisture. It's like the noodles are alive. It's alive, it's alive, it's alive, it's alive. Which is kind of gross and scary to think about actually. Um, so I'm just gonna bring this to a boil and then I'm gonna add the cheese. And then I'm gonna add the chicken, little cal cauliflower. And it's just what you do with casserole. You just add, you just add shit in. You just do it. That's what I do. Okay, 20 minutes later. Oh, this is looking good. Um, I'm gonna try to hold this up. It's so heavy. Is he? Things smell good. Those noodles are cooked. I've got some butter. And I'm gonna put some panko in there. And some Parmesan cheese because cheese, casserole, that's what you do. Um, mix that together until it gets all sandy. And then put the crunch on there. Casseroles are so good. People make fun of the Midwest all the time. Oop, they make fun of us. But we know casseroles. And that's like an essential life skill, I think. Okay, it's gonna go back in. 10 minutes or so. Mm. 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 Whoop. Do you hear that? That's casserole music. Mm. You ready? Yeah? You ready? Okay, here we go. Got my goblet of wine. Got my cheesy casserole. I'm gonna take a bite. Oh, wait, stop. Mmm. Mm. Oh, you're still here? <laughs> oh.
Oh, it's burning hot. Oh, 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 It's good. It's just good. Chicken, cauliflower, cheese, crunch, noodles. It's good. This is a good Tanya makes. That's all I have to say. See you next time. Mmm. Mmm.